Versus Pro, a lot of early base damage coming up from the Timbersaw. Enchantress uh, focusing on the lane to Timbersaw, but uh, like even the Static Storm mid lane, Limp. Yeah, he's taking a lot of damage. Cold Snap is there. Enchant yeah, the follow first save and Impetus and the right clicks. It's first blood going the way of Virtus Pro, the online king. No, for, like when I first started playing Hero, I didn't think it's good. And then when I played like uh, 20, 30 games, I felt oh. the hero has potential. Yeah, we're going to see the spear into the Thunder. tree Nightfall. He actually does pick up Sunder and that might turn this around. Nico Baby already popped his hot, so he's down here. And DM, oh, the nice Hoodwink stun coming out, the Bushwhack. Very successful is Nico Baby getting chased even more. DM with the chakra, I'm slowing him down, and it's a double kill for him. No, oh, that's a disaster for Alliance. Uh, one ward is cutting things out, so any kind of TP rotation that is not a smoke rotation will uh -oh. be scouted out. The glimpse level two yeah. should be enough. Into the kinetic field, GPK he comes in on top of a bramble, gets done with the cursed crown, but it's not going to matter. So much damage from the EMP, and another death for Nico Baby. Potentially a first kill for Alliance. Like, you need to get that one on the board. Very important yeah, for the for team sure. morale. Sentry comes out. They're going to get this Edict on the tower for now. But here comes the turnaround from VP. Static Storm into the kinetic field. The Yules is going to keep him alive a little bit longer, but not long enough. Nightfall in that. T oh, he actually is going to live for now. And the Leshrac as S4 drops inside his Marjorina. But oh, no. The GPK, he snipes him, and they instantly tip him. That uh, <laughs> stun strike uh, gets him. That was a ball to play for a lot from Alliance. Oh, yeah. Going inside the trees, and where could he possibly be? You see Edict on your tower. That's pretty much the only spot where Leshrac uh, stands. So they immediately open up with the Static Storm and follow it uh -oh. up by a Kinetic Field. FNG's dead. A lacquery applied, and yeah, I guess Sable will take it for himself. The support tax, as it were. And we see TB also getting points in attribute instead of uh, putting more points in reflection, which I really like. Oh, we're gonna see Nightfall pop the metamorphosis, and S4 is just destroyed. Yeah, the damage coming up from Spectre is relatively low at the moment, so inside the pit, tank it up. DM getting some stacks, full hood. I don't think he even uh, used the pipe, sorry at all. Oh, uh, Hanskin trying to take over the outpost again, but he's gonna get spotted out inside the Shadow Realm now, but stuck inside the kinetic field, not even needing the Sun Strike, the impetus is enough. In the meanwhile, Nightfall basically solos Roche, so... Their late GPK. game is not even stronger than Virtus Pro. You have a Terror Blade, you have Invoker, who's uh, going to BKB oh, next. Oh, uh, they th find him. Limp, Static Storm, Kinetic Field gets the Yules off, but you have to think it's only an inevitable death here for Limp and Deafening Blast, and still zero kills for Alliance. And Nightfall, of course, with that age is still for two and a half minutes, has the full-charged BKB and the SNY for the extra status resist. Okay, here we go. S4 with the arena, gets the spear up, but Nightfall with the BKB. He just walks casually right out, gets the Sunder, as well as S4 is just dying in the midst of his Mars arena. And there's the first kill of the game. There we have it. Skin gets it, so you were incorrect, Lacoste. Good effort, though, my friend. Yeah, put your handskin in the air for this uh, big uh, kill that they just got. Uh, uh, still, Tower is alive. Yeah. Nightfall does not have Sunder available. That is true. He still has Aegis, though, of course. His meta is running out shortly. Exactly. <laughs> like, Spectre yeah. is uh, having a decent sure. amount of farm. Diffusal Blade done, plus Echo Saber, so damage will be there. Yeah, as we see Hanskin again, trying to create as much space as possible. Limp is on the other side. GPK takes quite a bit of damage, but... Sunstrike is coming. He's actually going to dodge it, but the right clicks with the Spirit Vessel are going to be enough. Get yet another charge for GPK. Limp is in the vicinity of this, though. Oh, Gets that's going to be another one. Split art. Hands. Oh, okay. Limp. Uh, another Lightning Storm to go. All right. Lightning Storm's a great spell, Lacoste. As we're going to see the Rebuke miss, but break applied to Enchantress for now. Gets the heal off. There is the Arena with the Spear. But on the other side is Nightfall. Gets the Reflection off S4, attempting to TP out. But that damage from the Impetus is yet again going to be enough. FNG, all right, they have some high ground wards here, the Tinker wards, as it were. It actually goes for the Lightning Storm damage talent as well. That's kind of cool to see. Oh, the tornado just barely clips him. Cataclysm. It's a cataclysm, actually. The Yule's gonna keep him safe for now, but now, 
Not so much, actually. He takes a good, decent against the Timber, not the greatest. Mars, he's oh, in. Yeah, he sure is. S4 to terrorize onto three heroes. Cataclysm to follow, though, as Nightfall is just beating the crap out of everybody in that meta BKB form. Kingslayer was the first to fall, so Alliance with another kill. It's going to cost him S4. And Nico Baby doing a lot of damage to GPK, but Nico Baby just getting kited now. And the Impetus looks to be finishing him off. And now Alliance on the run without the position one Spectre. Alliance didn't know when Roche was spawned. Just to enter a glimpse or tornado from Invoker. Yeah, FNG just, I guess, wasting time here. He took the outpost after the minute mark, so it wasn't getting that XP. But, oh, GPK. Right, Clamp, you, making use he of that help. boost of travel. Split Earth is there with the pulse number to follow. DM in the vicinity, though. They're going to be able to take out FNG very quickly. Now, Limp, extremely fast and on the run. Yep, still chasing right now. Is Looks like GPK still taking some damage, but now Limp finally caught out. And with DM, he has the flamethrower on top of all this damage. And they find yet another kill. Now, is this more of a like delay tactic? I mean, good, good in question. Ground, yeah, so. they they have TB with uh, no meta for 60 seconds, but there is enough uh, damage to take down the barracks, especially when Invoker comes and use Alacrity on TB. Finally, Dark Willow has the shard, so there's going to be a lot of Bramble Mazes around. That's right. S4 jumps in and pretty much dies right away. And there you see the terrorized combo. It looks good on paper. In reality, maybe not so much. But when you're down this much, of course, it, things are going to look a little bit more lopsided. That's what see I that? mentioned. He jumps in and he, he's dead. Oh! oh! Snipes him one more time. Let me see. Invoker half HP will pick up the regeneration. Okay. Come back okay. to the fight. So, okay, this was a top hat. Gaben shellacking. Gaben in a top hat shellacking. Yeah, it was sure. a great performance uh, from Virtus Pro Southeast Asia. I've seen Puppy playing position five uh, in the pubs. It has some potential. Also, it's similar to like Magnus plus Selena that was relatively popular, mm -hmm. where you can just skewer into the stun. Maybe Lena stun a bit uh, easier to use. Uh, FNG already resigned to his death. So first blood the way of Virtus Pro. Yeah, bottom lane, we have the illusory orb coming out. Looks like it'll connect for now as a spin comes out as well on top of the coil. And this looks to be the death. Oh, all right, pops the fairy fire. DM is actually going to live for now. Now the EMP connects onto Limp. He's going to be the one to drop. So a big turnaround for VP. FNG looks to be another sacrifice for the VP gods. And now it's so good. It's like the second best item now in the tier one is S4. He's going to get jumped. The blink dagger reveals static storm on top of the kinetic field to follow. Nightfall waiting for the ray fire blast. He'll get it off. Oh, a little bit late there. The skewer comes out, but finally, the glimpse back in, and that is going to be S4's death. Looks like GPK will get credit for that one. And meanwhile, in the bot lane, we're seeing FNG getting gone on. I mean, I think it was 360 seconds at one point. I'm pretty sure, right? It was the longest cooldown in the entire game. Now only 200 seconds. Nightfall might be getting gone on here. Of course, doesn't have his range. You're going to see the RP come out from S4. This will only be the first life as Nightfall just continuing to right click now. He's going to get some reinforcements the on the way. Yeah, not even. As we're going to see the call now, they're going to be able to bring down FNG with the chop. S4 still in the trees, and they spot him. They just walk right in. That's going to be another freebie for VP. <laughs> Let's see. I, I think they get the uh, level two, and then they decide oh. to take a fight. Lamp, this would be a huge kill. Tornado into the static storm, but the curse. the curse from FNG holds them at bay for now. Impetus continue to do a lot of damage. The cold snap to follow. Lamp's in a lot of trouble. He gets the coil off, though. Back into the glimpse with the spear vessel applied. Cold embrace is not enough to keep him alive, but it might be a trade for GPK. This will be good for Alliance overall, but they're going to lose two now, and FNG looks to be next. At the very least, Alliance does get the mid laner, but it is going to cost them three. I would say this is a standard build. Sometimes it's one farming item, but since he doesn't need it because uh, he has empower, sure. you need status resistance against the Axe Call. Yep, that's definitely true. As the triangle, they're gonna go there. Kingslayer's gonna take the full Omni Slash and down he goes. But here comes the EMP, connects on S4, pops the wand, so has some mana to work with. We have the coil, only gonna connect on a couple there's here, but there's the, the nice RP. RP. This could be a big turnaround for Alliance. They're gonna find GPK again, and DM looks to be next on the list. Double kill for Nico, baby. They, they ended up in the triangle where he has been spending the entire game, and Alliance is gonna be really happy with that. That's it, that's all I got. Maybe we can have a new hero do that. We're going to see the big call, but a nice Blade Fury in time. Curse to follow from FNG on the sideline. As a result, Alliance is able to get out here. But in the meantime, S4 getting caught in the Static Storm Kinetic Field. Nightfall on the other side has the Alacrity applied. But the Cold Embrace is there just in time to withstand the crit. 
And it looks like DM did fall in this engagement, but Nico Baby has the spin going off, and the coil applied as well, just on the Enchantress, but they'll take what they can get right now. All they lose is hand skin. It's a two for one. I think now Alliance perhaps on the run, but S4 still on the sideline. Take a guess. Nico Baby's wards? I think that's what it said. Um, 175? Sorry, his, sorry, his healing ward. Oh, the... the four, oh, DM's 400. gonna jump in with the Berserkers called 400. Okay, I'm gonna go 550. As uh, Nightfall gets the Wraith Fire Blast, but a glimpse back into the Kinetic Field Static Storm, but there's the curse on top of the Cold Embrace. He's not receiving I think damage. Nico Baby is perfectly fine now, gets off the Omni Slash as well. It's gonna be tanked up a bit by those skeletons, but we hear DM chop down FNG in the meantime. Nightfall with that BKB being shown. Looks like the coil only onto one for now. As Limp is the one taking heavy damage, gets the phase shift off, but he believes he's gonna die to the ratings. Oh, he's not careful. Blank. Yeah, Just dies anyway. In range, and now S4 on the run. DM. All right, you got the call. Cancel it off. S4 with that battle hunger applied. DM's gonna continue to try to catch up. Skewer is available though. It's gonna be a pretty hard kill to get here. DM. Blink is up in five seconds as the tornado does connect on the hand skin, so that looks to be a freebie for VP. And DM finally gives up on this kill. But in the enemy jungle, Alliance goes as well. And with that buyback, we'll see if they can have a big impact on this uh, Disruptor. I fall inside the pit. They can see that Roche has not even been attempted here right now. So they're going to feel, feel pretty safe. They do get the glimpse off, though, into the kinetic field. DM gets the Berserker's call off as well. He's getting healed, but the impetus goes right through. And then hand skin just getting right-clicked by Nightfall. In the meantime, they do take out the Disruptor. And that is a dieback on Kingslayer. Nico Baby, though, he has to be careful. He's already used his spin. Nice DM fall. gets the blink call into the Cataclysm and the right clicks to follow. Nightfall, but a big curse. But there is the BKB from Nightfall. He doesn't have to worry about it now. Still getting healed, though, in the meantime. But these right clicks are going to be way too much. Oh, he gets off the Omni Slash this time. That's so we'll survive Omni. a little bit longer. And the Culling Blade was a little bit late. It wasn't able to finish him off, and Nico Baby will live and actually gets the Healing Ward down. Still 3v4, and they know that Disruptor's dead for another 40 seconds. Yes. Diabolic Edict. The fortification's actually going to be popped, so he has to be a little bit careful here. Nightfall. Looking for Hansking in turn. Now they know where he is. Yep. Glimpse back. Glimpse into the Ray Fire Blast. And that is going to be an easy one for VP. Let's create a little bit of space, but that's 45 seconds of no Lesh. All right, so the Roche attempt is here. Alacrity applied to Nightfall. He can solo this, no problem. They have Static Storm. They have everything online. Yeah. If and there's course, an RP, there will be Static Storm dropped on top of him, or just right. instant blink initiation from Axe to try to cancel it. You uh, might even see Static Storm on top of Roche towards the end of yes, this. Yes, it's a possibility to be able to lock down the Puck. Puck doesn't have a defensive item, going for a very greedy build. Sometimes we see the like third item uh, Eon Disc, which I think, uh, like, he needs a defensive item. S4 Better. is going for the skew on the other side now is Nightfall. He's going to pop his BKB, and inside that Static Storm is S4. Cataclysm to follow. That is a dead Magnus. Buys back in the game, still has his RP, so they have to be careful. Nico Baby already using his Blade Fury. Going to get out the Omni Slash Omni. just in time. Beautifully done. Finds one kill. Save with the Ghost Scepter. going to save him for now. And now they have to be careful. Wraith King, that's his first life. He's going to be surrounded now with five members of Alliance still alive after the buybacks come through. There's the RP, only onto one, but will it be enough to actually take him out? Looks like with that Swift Slash, the answer to that is yes. No buyback available onto the Wraith King. And now Invoker getting pounded down by Limp. But in the meantime, Nico Baby taking a lot of damage from the Impetus, but a nice curse saving him. And they'll be able to turn this around with that's another full skewer. Team wipe. Full team wipe, cost him some buybacks, but this is a Roche for yeah. Alliance. And the uh, axe thanks it uh, fully. Uh, no berserker call. I don't know how you feel about it, but uh, not not a big fan myself. Is S4 gonna jump in? I was fine with it because I was abusing the item when <laughs> it wasn't so popular. But now that everyone knows about yeah, it, you... secret is out. Oh, what you're saying is you're a hipster. In other words, Nightfall is gonna be taken out. That's his first life. And they still have the skewer available to bring him down to the high, to the low ground. But there's a static storm onto two heroes with the curse to follow the Eon this process. And save continuing to pound away with that impetus in the meantime. But there's the big skewer onto three. Double kill for Nico, baby. Huge combo from S4. And now the Swiss Slash, Omni Slash, whatever the hell you want to call it. Any, Another any kill slash for this Alliance. This is a huge win for Alliance. They're going to go for the possible high ground. Oh, Kingslayer living for now. Limp will look and clean him up. For the win. And the tier three tower now being pounded on. See the tornado. With a minus armor there. All right. We got the Yules to start things out onto Axe. Potential initiation, but the splitter is going to connect into, I'm going to assume it was a swift slash, but we'll see. It yeah, is. He still has Omni Slash. All right. Thank you very much. Is the buyback now into the Axe. 
Pico Baby. Full this, HP. This heal is Nothing absurd. wrong there. <laughs> the heal is actually absurd. Now that is a true Omni Slash, and that is a dieback for DM. And this looks to be going to game number three. Swift Slash now. I'm getting them all right yeah. at the cost. Alliance, after getting absolutely destroyed. Game one, come back with a vengeance. Uh, pretty much the perfect game from uh, Nico Baby in this one. Gets level six. Uh, I don't think Virtus Pro like should uh, care too much about the bottom lane. This is an easy win for them. We've seen Luna being a counter to like all the tanky strength off laners, and this should be the first blood. Absolutely, with the Earth Spike. More than enough damage as uh, Save ends up taking that one from on the top lane. DM is level. Six, so there is uh, more kill potential. There is a catapult wave. Nico Baby needs to be careful. Three plus two plus oh. one. Easy six. Will TP out oh! or will he? Oh, Thunder God's Wrath was just enough of that last right click from DM. Particularly he good already, against him. If he has reactive armor stacked, yeah. they stay. You just don't Ooh. get the new ones. Yeah, GPK picks up the haste. Limp is in a lot of trouble. Lucent Beam to follow. Nightfall's even coming to the fray. As Save gets another kill. He's in a killing streak now. His hand skin, Thunderbolt into the finger, double kill for save. K -S he is a quite far. Like, yeah, he's just getting all the last hits. Uh, uh, GPK, we promise that we talk about Zeus all game. It's we, actually not come we, true. We are talking right now. Fairy Strength Kit, uh, yeah. the best item. Sometimes and Ace Lens oh. as well. Yeah, this is a lot of. There oh, the go. burst damage save again. Another kill for this young man as GPK takes the gush from S4. Thunderbolt to follow though. Save, trying to. Save his teammate, pun not intended there. Kaluna gets the priority if Virtus Pro kills the Roshan. Yeah, as we can see, Laguna Blade applied here onto DM. He's very tanky, but this looks like it might be enough damage. He pops that hood. Now into the trees he goes, has the oh, casual plate mail as well. Doing a nice job of Juki into the timber chain across the other side of the lane, and he will live as a result. And they might be able to turn this around now. VP save with another hex, Thunderbolt to follow. And the Earth Spike will help finish off that pesky Nyx Assassin is as well in his passive. We're going to see, oh my god, the Winter Scars into the Impale. And it looks like Hoodwink will fall. Nyx Assassin is next as well. And Alliance, it's 10-0 again. Is this game oh, one? I didn't even notice that they have zero kills. Yeah. It seems like every single time they pick Hoodwink, they just can't <laughs> get a kill early on yeah. to protect themselves. So right now, Luna staying uh, 3,000 gold ahead of TB, and this is their big time. They know, they actually know where he is. Ooh, it's Nico, being pinged out, Nico. Yeah, running to the side. Of course, they have the Thunder God's Wrath. There That'll we scout go. him out. Attempting to TP out the Lucent Beam. Nope, not even gonna need it. The Earth Spike is there into the Eclipse and the Hex, so no Sunder play. Nimbus was used. It wasn't to be for GPK. As expected, uh, Luna, let's see where she oh, pees. She and skin. Ah, the Thunderbolt just in time. Another kill going the way of VP. 15. To zero. Yeah, the heal's not as strong right now without having the fully done Holy yeah, Locket no and the talent. talent. Uh, no Holy Locket. Still pretty solid, though. You see the reflection made. Nightfall pretty healthy. So this tower definitely going to go down. The Gush into the LSA, into the Anchor Smash. All right, this is going to be Aegis going down. But like you said, they've expended a lot of spells on the side of Alliance. Oh, There's good Nimbi. the Nimbus into the Lucent Beam. Not quite enough to take out Limp. He has to BKB retreat. And finally, the tier three tower will fall with the BKB activated from Nightfall. Not sure if they want to fight now. All right, or spike from the the other side into the finger of that save with yet another kill. And now the Lucent Beam, or the Eclipse, I should say, to follow S4 trying to get away, but that Lucent Beam finally finds them. So two dead. This turns it into a five versus three. And now you see the Glaives doing their job. This is where Luna becomes extremely hard to counteract. Take some damage. They know there's no meta. This is a big part of the damage coming out from Alliance. So right now they're just poking. Curse available in a second. Oh, Good initiation. The hex into the burst damage. GPK gets the last hit, and there is why you see Zeus is so good against Terrorblade. Bushwhack Still comes out. Zero the heals. on the board for Alliance. Do you think they oh get my a God. kill? I, I actually forgot about that. I'm gonna say yes. They'll get one kill. Is this actually another top hat game? This is insane. This is actually insane. This is going to be a second rack to the very least. Close. There's the buyback now onto TB. You get mana drained uh, while he's BKB'd with the Aether Lens. Nightfall. I think they Adding need to play the super defensive. Try to end this game with uh, zero kills on Alliance. 
<laughs> oh, Nico Baby in the trees. This might be their first kill. They finally get save. One kill for Alliance. Oh, he dodged it. And they get the Winter Wyvern as well. So five versus three. But Nightfall wants to fight. Gets off the Lucent Beam. Elsa is going to connect on the Timber. Buy back onto the Winter Wyvern now as S4 trying to apply a little bit of pressure, but it's just going to cost him his life. A double kill for Nightfall now as Nico Baby is quite low in that meta. What VP has to offer right now as they attempt to go high ground again. Bushwhack 3. The Vendetta coming out into the Impale and the Laguna Blade. Will this be enough? The Cold Embrace save the heals again out of control. They were so close to taking down Nightfall as the Sunder comes out oh, no. into the Eclipse though. All right. Some damage mitigated here, but S4 will drop regardless. All right. They're going to get the Impale, LSA to follow, but again, the Cold Embrace, back to full HP you go, young man. Nico Baby getting pressured in the meantime. They don't have quite enough to take him out quite yet here. DM, no trees available. That was so close. Like, Vibrant even used the Holy Locket, 20 charges on uh, Luna just to be able to give her some extra HP. This is the last left for Alliance. Roche may respawn yep, in 40. LSA, Cold Embrace, full HP. Congratulations. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well done. You hit one button. Oh, he doesn't have it for the Luna, though. Sharpshooter's there as well. Sneako Baby trying to fight within the Nimbus, but he will fall. It'll be a likely trade here. I would oh, think he missed. Nightfall's living. Cold Embrace. Back Laguna. to full HP you go. Laguna Blade can't even withstand the Cold Embrace. Are you serious? <laughs> it's just too much healing. What he is this? The Holy Locket on him, and the S4 <laughs> will call it. Uh, Whoever picks Winter Wyvern wins. wins. <laughs> the hero is too powerful.